Hello there, this is Richard Spirits Gaiden, and this is our type final two, Second Chance. And uh, it's a second chance because I've played this game before. I dismissed it after playing it for a bit, it just it annoyed me in some department, I can't remember what, and it's been sitting on my shelf ever since. So I'm going to give it a second chance, I'm going to give it another airing, I'm going to crack the case, whack the car in the slot, see what's happening because was i fair about it the first time or was i right did i actually hate it here we go this is niz america niz america not miss america unreal engine so this is an unreal engine on the switch hmm. granzella uh, usp there's lots of logos there. i don't know what that was about uh we're loading we've got what we've we got here we've got an intro uh we've got what appears to be spaceships slowly rotating on a spit. So we're roasting some spaceships here, like a hog roast, but for spaceships. I'm going to cut off a slice and stick Once it in a bap. Oh, beautiful. Can you see some of that R9 skin crackling? What am I talking about? Anyway, let's crack on. We've got a voiceover. By the invasion of alien We've got a voiceover plus subtitles. Space which is good for the people out there that can either hear or not hear. So that's all in order. This looks like it's all real time. It's kind of nice lighting. I don't know if it is uh, an FMV or real time. Can't tell, but it looks kind of um, moody and atmospheric, doesn't it? Yeah, let's take up the space chute. Whoa. Whoa. They're gonna go into space. Oh, it's beautiful. Look, is a blue crescent. Some schematics and a big grey box. Oh man, it doesn't get more futuristic than that. What am I doing? Oh, I'm face palming by looks of it. I don't know what quite happened there. I couldn't quite see. Oh, the engines won't start. Put the pull the choke out. Give us some beans. Right, uh, space debris. Oh, here's my mate. My little orange force orb. Gone into space warpy space. Space warpy space. Space space warp. Right, this is a horizontally scrolling 2D shooter with an incredible amount of unlockables from what I remember. Here's the menu. We're looking at it through Robocop's visor. I've just pressed the B button because it's mandated in every game if you press the B button, you go back in the menu. It's irritating, because I often hit it by accident. We have got decals, which I have to purchase. Hmm. I've got some in-game credits there, by the looks of it. Greens, reds, and blues. Hmm. So different things cost different amounts of money. Meh. Yeah. I don't give a shit about uh, customization, I've got to say. Uh, it bores the arse off me in games when... Oh, pick your character's frickin' nasal hair. Pick its frickin' freckles. Has it got a spot on its arse? Oh, you need a purple hat. It's like, I can't. I'm not interested. Just let me play the frickin' game. Um, you're probably thinking that same way about the video. What have we got here? We've got some imagery which i also have to buy with in-game credits update 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 mm. yeah uh our museum yeah let's start the game that's that's advisable let's play the actual the actual game um i don't like these renders either the spaceships look too um detailed he says with questioning tone i don't know they just don't look as Cool as the 2D sprites. Don't know why. Uh, uh, I guess the, I guess what you forgive the 2D. This is taking ages to load, isn't it? You forgive the 2D sprites a bit. Uh, in 3D, they just don't look like they'd actually exist. Uh, we've got some spaceships on a roasting spit again. Ooh, tasty spaceships. I like this orange, orange. Uh, get up. This one's got on here. Quite nice colour. That one's got a big plate stuck to its head. That one looks like it's part of Master Chief's armour that's fallen off. 
this one's got spikes. That's classic. Classic. I'm getting a classic? Yeah, let's go classic. Got lots of different difficulty levels. Am I ready? I was born ready. Thanks. Let's do this. Oh, freaking hell, we're loading again. So, I think I gave up this game last time because the game was difficult and it didn't really the graphics weren't good enough and the action fun enough to hold my attention now I don't mind a difficult game as long as it's fun I didn't feel like this was fun we've got some sick making background movement there that was making my stomach churn slightly the way it was rotating and flapping about I uh, don't like this perspective thing that going on in the background where you move up and down and it's in perspective I never know whether I'm going to crash or not uh, I've got some instantly forgettable Euro style beats that's no good um, sort of, uh, sort of real time light sources on your charge beam that's Lovely, but unnecessary. Uh, horrible side effect of charge, the charge. Got some... I'm gonna call... I'm gonna be charitable and call them naive graphics. Ooh, I've got a space robot. He's got, like, a massive cannon that you can fire every two seconds. Why is it game over? It's game over! I get one life! I get one life. I've got 99 credits, but one life. Hmm. Go to the main menu. No, let's use a credit. I've got 98 credits now. We're going to pick a different ship. I don't get pictures of the ship here. I get a non-descriptive selection of letters and numbers. I've got a feeling I just picked the orange one because I think that was the last one in the list. Let's see. Let's see if I've got the orange spaceship. Yes, I believe that's orange. Okay, and collected a power up. And shooting some stuff. There's a bit of a weird frame skip there. I don't. I don't know whether that came across in the uh, video or not, but I was certainly watching it back there was one. Okay, yeah, you block the stuff with your force orb. The dose meter goes up. And we've got purple light there. Shooting some stuff. And this is where the robot came out of the background and shot me in the face with his massive blast. On my stream this time though. He is going to get hit just as it's nearly got me there again. Oof. This is a tense fight. Why is this so difficult? I'll tell you why, because the size of his freaking blast and the, how fast he fires them it's had me pinned down. Oh, it felt like I was unable to move there. Yeah, we've got a box and it's spawning orange crabs. Um, maybe I should destroy the box so it stops spawning crabs. Just as an idea. And this laser, this blue laser here, seems pretty shit. Uh, okay, well, It's slightly tedious, but it is the first level, so I can't, I've got a reserve judgement, really. Um, I hate this charge beam sound effect. Knowing me, um, being a bit of a graphics whore, someone who's impressed by visuals and audio, has probably just got annoying apparently playing the same level over and over again. Speci specifically, if it gives you one life to do it. Um, very unlikely to stick around, so I don't know what's going on there. I don't remember it giving me one life um, when I initially played it. Is this the first level boss from the original R-Type, but frozen in ice? 
Hmm. Yeah, so being a uh, vacuous graphics and sound hall, uh, this doesn't appeal to me. It's not a good looking game. Gameplay wise, it feels a bit meh. Okay, got some music, some VFX. I'll myself some, some space, space dollars, some space uh, zennies, some space yen, space pounds, space euros. And uh, I'm assuming I can use those to buy stickers for my spaceship, which is an absolutely pointless endeavor. Let's shoot this plant bastard in the plant ball. Some spiky memes in the background. Yeah, this is a spectacularly ugly game. I think I'm that shallow that uh, that put me off. Actually, now it's coming back to me. There's a thing where you have to put, yeah, you have to play the game over and over again to earn XP to unlock spaceships in the museum, and then you get all the different spaceships. I think there's like a Pokemon style part of catch all the spaceships um, to finish the game and I'm just not interested enough in customization and extra spaceships to give a shit. I'd have rather this game probably being a TV game like classic R type uh, maybe with a slate of three or four ships but 20 ships? Don't know. I never played the original R type final on the PS2 for any length of time. I, I believe I did have it at one point when I did get to level 3. Uh, but again, I think what put me off of that game was it just looked like shit. Um, I don't know if that's true. I think I might have played Gradius 5 at the same time and it just didn't compare to Gradius 5. Which is slightly unfair because Gradius 5 is just legendary. So, but this game, anyway, with all its extra years of development and games in between this and the last outside final, you think they would have um, made the levels and the enemy characters more interesting to look at. Um, I'm assuming the PS4 version is very similar to this. Content wise, it's probably got more stuff going on, but I'm assuming this is the same gameplay. And as such, it is a bit dull. I do hate the music. Some of my classic, beautiful art type alien synths in the original game. Oh, a block door here. oh yes, this is the boss area. So it's the te tentacles. At least a testicles there for no reason whatsoever. Um, I've got testicles on the brain. Uh, I don't know why. I don't, I'm not interested in testicles. Uh, well, anybody else's testicles. Um, I'm very interested in my own. You know, you've got to take an interest in me. Um, let's stop talking about testicles. Let's talk about shooting this thing in the eye. Look at these things. Shit, you know. I'm super rich now. This boss pissed me off for ages because the tentacles would just grow out of nowhere. And um, I'd often just crash into a tentacle that was just about to grow. Oh, I thought I was dead there. And I, indeed, I did die. I thought I was dead because I hit the terrain, but the terrain doesn't kill you. Again, we've got one life. I don't like that. I don't like, I don't know what's going on there, but I've got one life. I've got no tries, and I have to use a credit. Um, I've gone to the main menu. I'll rage quit. The main menu loads quite quick. Thankfully. Uh, competition special. Art manual. Data in gallery. Oh, no, he's pressed the B button. So he's gone back again because of that B button rule. What's happened there? Right, we're loading now. Uh, this game is on a cartridge. It takes a long time to load. That's highly irritating. Uh, here's the Spaceship Museum. So you can see what I've got unlocked here. So I got as far as unlocking these spaceships in my previous life as a deep space laser jockey. 
Um, it looks like that whole grey rectangle is going to get filled up with spaceships. And I've unlocked barely a sixth of it. Uh, I don't care really. I don't know if I'm interested enough to unlock those other spaceships. And I freaking love our type. This just doesn't feel, look, or sound like our type, this game. And um, that's what's put me off. Whereas something like R Type Delta did feel like R Type, this doesn't. And I can't put my finger on the exact thing that makes this game suck in comparison. So, yeah, this is the second chance for R Type Final 2. At the moment, it is spurning that chance. It is going to get relegated back to the shelf. Unless something is going to leap out and grab me by the short and curlies and uh, or wrestle me to the floor with amazing amazingness. Oh no, don't load again! Oh, what's happening in here? Oh, I've done load from Malvum and now I've got a, a seagull screeching at me. I don't know what you want from me, game. Go to the oh, museum. Oh, he's going. He's going there. Can I, what can I pick? Uh, machine to put on my kebab skewer. Oh, it's loading. It takes so long. This game loads. I, I thought cartridges were like instant loading. Um, full menu, zoom in, zoom out. Pilot view back, information. I've got 11 of 99 spaceships. This game's been out for a few years now. I would appreciate it if they would send me a code via the internet that just unlock all the ships unlock all the content so I can play it please or is it a case that I have to buy new spaceships with real world currency are they doing that sort of shenanigans in this game I would hope not because your game's not good enough mate your game's not good enough to retain people buying shit you have to I don't know it's not flashy enough and it's, you need flash, all the flash. Uh, Andromalus, Andromalus, Andromalius, Andromalius, Andro, Andromalius. Uh, I'm going to keep saying that, like, because I've never seen that word before, and it's a stupid word. Andromalius. I felt like I was trapped in some sort of horrible hell there. Sort of trapped by my own language. Okay. Uh, yeah, let's return to the hangar. Why not? I like watching loading screens. For fuck's sake. Yeah. I paid 55 quid for this. I got like a special edition version. Um, I seem to remember it came in a cardboard with a cardboard outer sleeve. And that was about it. I don't think there was anything else in that box. It's freaking weird as a special edition, it, or day one edition. It had nothing in it. It was a Switch. I believe it was a Switch game in a Switch case inside a cardboard box that had a, like a cover on the render. Was there anything else in there? I don't know. I don't, the box is somewhere else. Uh, the game is right here in my Switch, unfortunately. Yeah, I'd much rather be playing something else at this point. Maybe this spaceship is going to give me better service. Oh, we've got a difficult menu. What's going on here? Ah, my remaining craft has been set to zero. And that gives me 25% boost of something. Continues on off. Continues on off. 25%. Uh, so this is the bonus that you get at the end of every level. Um, with some added percentages if you make it harder for yourself. Okay, well that's okay. That's fine. But I don't really want to earn cash to buy shit to stick on virtual models anyway. So let's just get out of that stupid menu and let's play the game with this orange bastard spaceship. Loading again, obviously. Why wouldn't you? Why wouldn't you take the opportunity to load being on a cartridge? Uh, we've got the planet open the background. We've got some sick making camera movements, which is lovely. Uh, 
That's a weird move. Oh, I've got a wiggly, a wiggly worm laser. Yeah, they never really bet the original R-type weapon set, did they? The original R-type weapon set is iconic and looks cool. I quite like that charge explosion. That a nice effect. Um, okay. I haven't used the dose thing yet. I think I've got to charge that to 100% before I can use that. And it's a bit like a. I seem to remember it. It's a bit like the R-Type 3 thing where you fire loads of little um, R-Type style glob lasers across the screen. Um, is that robot bastard? He's gonna get his comeuppance. Take lasers to the face. Take lasers to the face. Yeah, it just turned into a brown mist. Alright, uh, pick up the. Oh, we've got a sort of reflecting laser thing going on. Plus a sort of. A Spherical stun gun thing. Eh, okay. Well, this is our time final. I don't like it. I still don't like it. I didn't like it when I got it. I gave it a fair chance back then. I've unlocked a few different bits and bobs. Do you know what? Picking it up now. I don't want to play it again. Mm, that's sad because I like Horizon Zombie Scrolling Shoot Up. I just think this looks and sounds awful in the gameplay. There's a lot to be desired. So, yeah, unfortunately, this isn't for me. But hey, you might like it. You might like what you see. And if you do, fair play to you. More power to your elbow. You crack on with it. I'll go and be playing something else. And maybe we'll see each other another time. And come to an agreement about what a good game is. Because I'm not sure this one is a good game. Alright then. Ta-ra.